All right, so what does the M after the datum feature mean? The M after the datum feature is uh, probably the most misunderstood concept we have in this entire language, and let me explain it to you. What it says is, as B gets smaller, and I'm going to show B being smaller here. Here's B getting smaller. It says as B gets smaller, the entire bolt circle gets to shift, it gets to move. So it's not one hole being able to take off in another direction as B gets smaller. It's the entire bolt circle moving. So, for example, it might end up down here. You still maintain the 200 millimeters from center to center at true position. This is still 200 millimeters, but it's shifted down. Now, how much could it shift down? Well, it could shift down potentially anyway by the difference between the virtual condition of B and the least material condition of B. You told me before that the virtual condition of B was 50.03. 50 plus 0.03. We know the least material condition of B is 49.97. And the difference between those two things is 0 0.06, I think. And if you divide that by 2, <clears throat> you get 0 0.03. So it's possible that we could get a radial shift between the first, the desired location of the bolt circle and the shifted location of the bolt circle that is that 0 0.03. So the question is, is that OK? And the answer is, well, what effect does it have on the assembly? Let me show you the effect it has on the assembly. I take this part, and it's already passed inspection with the bolt circle shifted. All right? And I try to as assemble it in the assembly. And here's A seated on C. And here's B shoved into the middle of D. And here are the clearance holes. And they won't align with the threaded holes on the other part. And here are the clearance hole. And it won't align with the threaded hole in the other part. In fact, it won't align by the amount of 0 0.03. So I can't get my bolt to shove through the clearance hole and screw into the threaded hole. And so I'm thinking, well, maybe this part shouldn't have been bought by inspection. But remember, it already has been bought by inspection. This thing is passed. <coughs> so my job is simply to assemble the parts. I've got to assemble the parts. When B got smaller, what did B get smaller than? Pardon? It got smaller than D, that's right. So if you had like x-ray vision, you could see in here, and you'd see that B, which is in blue, is smaller than the hole into which it fits, which is in black. And they've got equal airspace, because this thing is assembled right on center. Now remember, your job is simply to get these parts to assemble. And what would you do to get them to assemble? You'd shift it up. You'd place your God-given thumb on the side of this thing, and you give it a nudge in this direction. And what would happen is this clearance hole would come up and align with that threaded hole, and you'd put your bolt in. And this clearance hole would come up and align with that threaded hole, and you'd put your bolt in. And what would happen to the airspace on this side? Bigger. And on this side? And you'd ship it. Now the question is simply, is this a good idea?